Daily Prayer Tuesday, January 5th, 2021 Tuesday after Epiphany Daily Prayer Tuesday, January 5th, 2021 Tuesday after Epiphany The Holy Gospel according to St. Mark As Jesus went ashore, he saw a large crowd, and he had compassion on them, for they were like a ship without a shepherd. And he began to teach them many things. It was now getting late, and his disciples came to him and said, This is a lonely place, and it is now late. You should send the people away, and let them go to the farms and villages around here to buy themselves something to eat. Jesus replied, You yourselves give them something to eat. They answered, If we are to feed them, we need 200 silver coins to go and buy enough bread. But Jesus said, you have some loaves, how many? Go and see. The disciples found down and said, There are five loaves and two fish. Then he told them to have the people sit down, together in groups on the green grass. This they did in groups of hundreds and fifties. And Jesus took the five loaves and the two fish and raising his eyes to heaven. He pronounced a blessing, broke the loaves, and handed them to his disciples to distribute to the people. He also divided the two fish among them. They were eight, and everyone had enough. The disciples gathered up what was left and filled their baskets with broken pieces of bread and fish. 5,000 men had eaten there. The Gospel of the Lord. May you continue to experience and express the love of God. I pray that your celebration of Christmas was touched by the love you experienced from others and ultimately from God. When we gifted others or were gifted by others, we sensed a bond with them, even if they were not physically present with us. The bond is love. Gifting, on which Christmas is focused, should draw us close to those with whom we share presence, and presence even if only spiritually. And to our God, who has ultimately given us the greatest sign of divine love, Jesus, love incarnate. May we never stop gifting others with the love we have received from our God, who is love. Love is one of the hallmarks of prime characteristics of God. In fact, God can be equated with love and love with God. That is what John describes in the first reading. In the Gospel, we see that lived out in the life and ministry of love incarnate, when Jesus demonstrates divine compassion on the people and frees them intellectually, spiritually, and physically. In the passage from John's first letter, we are told the what love is. Love comes from God, for God is love. Love is so overpowering that it cannot stay just in the Godhead. It flows out to all creation. In the Gospel today, Jesus looks at the large crowd that has surrounded him. He has compassion on them. His heart goes out to them. He sees 
they are in need of spiritual and physical feeding. He teaches them at great length, feeding them with his words. Yet, he realizes they also have physical needs. With five loaves and two fish, he fish the huge gathered multitude. Jesus shows that God, his upper father, cares for and loves people, especially those who cry out to be nourished by the bread of life. As I reflect on these scriptures today, I am drawn to John's words, God is love. I tried to put it into some sort of order. God, as the true deity, loves. The love that flows between upper father, son, and Holy Spirit is so potent that it cannot stay within the Trinity. It flows out into creation and specifically on humanity. Yet, we are limited on our understanding of God as love. We, in our finiteness and concreteness, cannot by ourselves experience the fullness of God's love. We need human intervention. That is why the love of God became incarnate in Jesus. Yet, even that love we cannot grasp fully or directly, since Jesus has gone back to be with his Abba. It is only when others in our lives have shown us their love and caring that we can start to comprehend the immensity of God's love. If other humans had not shared love with us, we would not be able to bridge the gap to understand God as love. It is though people our parents, spouse, family, and friends who bring us a tangible sign of God's love. It is when we feel loved by others that we can realize that we are lovable and are loved ultimately by God. Once we start to experience that we are lovable, not for what we do, but simply because God loves us. It is then we can take action. We start to feel the unconditional love that God is. God is. The love that God and others have for us. As different individuals symbolize, God's even more intense unconditional love for us. We can then reach out to others with the love we have experienced. For we cannot love others as ourselves if we don't first love ourselves because we have experienced others loving us with the love of God. It is in our giving uh, the gift of love which we have received from others and ultimately from God. To others, that we demonstrate that we love God. God is loved in our giving the unconditional love to others. All this is because God is love. When true unconditional love is shared, God is presented both as the giver of love and the receiver of love. God as love is the beginning and end of the act of loving. God is being God whenever people experience heart, filled, and sincere love, the love that goes down to our innermost feelings and being. The personal question or action for today 
How have I experienced the love of God? Who in my life has enabled me to know no means experienced the love of God by their loving me? How can I help others know that they are lovable and loved, not only by me, but more importantly, by God? Let us pray. Blessed are you, Lord God, you who are love, you as our Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, radiate your love within in yourself. Your love overflows to all creation. We want to thank you for giving to us individuals in our lives who have loved us with a reflection of your love. They have allowed us to know that we are lovable because you love us. We praise you for allowing us to take the gift of love which we have experienced and to share that love with others so they too can feel lovable and loved by us and firstly and ultimately by you. We give you our love in action as we love those whom you have blessed on our journey to love you. You ask us to make the daily decision to love one another as you and your son have loved us. Help us to realize each and every day the great love you have for us and share that love with others, thus giving you glory and honor and love by our participation in your loving. For you, who are our one and only God, Epa, Son, and Spirit, forever and ever. Amen. Hãy subscribe cho